Okay, here I am. Okay, yes, quarantine, cooking, kind of goes together, doesn't it? <laughs> we know that now. Some of us found out the hard way that we're sick of our own ingredients and our own recipes, so we're, we're actually now copying off other people. So that's what I'm here for. So you can copy off me, um, and I'm going to make something out of one of my soups that I think you guys are going to dig. This is in the lineage of my upbringing. This is my great grandma's recipe that my grandma passed on to me. I made it for the first time when I was six years old and it is called potato chip casserole. Order the soup. You're gonna like it. You can eat it plain or you can do this with it. Get creative. So I drain this, okay? And I don't waste anything, but what I do is I go ahead and open it and drain it. It has amazing ingredients in it, you guys. This has celery, carrot, onions, heart of palm noodles, which are loaded up with zinc, and, I, and it has jackfruit. So that's my jack chicken noodle. So while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and add another ingredient that I really, really, really like. And you guys can find this in your supermarket, or you can order it on Amazon. So there's two different versions of it. Get the kind without the brine. Uh, it'll be easier to work with. So here it is. Mr. Upton himself. So I get the unseasoned version. Uh, there's a lot of different varieties of this jackfruit. I just kind of want to work with the plain because I've got a lot of seasoning already in this jackfruit noodle. And I want to make sure that we're not, you know, overdosing on anything like sodium. So here we go. Jackfruit going in. Trick. Paper towels. It has water on it. So I actually just squeeze it with my hands. Just get out all that excess water. Who likes a soupy casserole? Not me. All three of my boys, their birthdays, favorite thing, hands down. I say, what do you want me to make? They go, potato chip casserole. I'm like, oh my God, again? Are you serious? So you guys, a few of these pieces of jackfruit, they're gonna be a little bit tough. There's some tough spots in here, okay? I like to take the tough spots and just break them up with a knife really quick. Just like pieces of chicken, you really don't want anything really like big and gnarly. So you know, if you can, just dice them up just like bite-sized pieces and uh, it's going to be more user-friendly, I promise. Get out your measuring spoons. These are the ingredients you're going to need too. So now I've got this mostly drained. I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. Trick number two. I love this broth so much. Of course, I made it, so I'm a little biased. But I have to tell you, I put it in my vegan mashed potatoes and it is bomb. You can also make dirty rice with it. So you can actually put this in instead of water and just steam your rice with this vegan chicken broth. And it is, it's bomb. This is soy free vegan ace. I love it. Um, I like keeping this whole recipe soy free. There's a blue top one that has soy in it. Either one's gonna work for you. This one's a little bit more liquid. The other one's a little bit more binding. So if you like a thicker casserole, more hearty, you're gonna get the blue top, okay? And follow your heart. They are close to my heart. And I found this potato too that looks like a heart. So anyway, Follow Your Heart is the first grocery store that let me get my soups into their grocery market. So I was really excited and I always support their brand because they're just, they're just kick ass. They're awesome. I use one cup of that and then I use onion powder, garlic powder, one tablespoon of each. One, two, bam. That's amazing. Onion and garlic, they should just, they're like Donnie and Marie. They just go together. Jada, chicken salt. This stuff, it is good. And I'm not kidding you. One tablespoon. Pimentos. I'm not really sure why this goes in here. I like them. They're pretty, they're red, and my grandma put them in there. Masal. This is vegan chicken powder. So let me tell you plant-based, so yum. I ordered it off Amazon. It's something that you guys can get and uh, you can do a lot of stable recipes with this. It's a vegan chicken powder that is just, it's fabulous. Um, I actually had two tablespoons into this. Woo! Somebody got their wings. <laughs> That's what happens anytime a bell rings. <laughs> Angel got its wings. This ingredient, oh, one of my favorites. The only thing I don't put this on is cereal. I will tell you, this is nutritional yeast. I like Bregs, but I'm telling you right now, this is a good ingredient. So, you're gonna like that. Anyway, so I've got all those ingredients in. 
Last but not least, I've got three little three little uh, tidbits to add in. I added one onion. I diced it already, just so y'all didn't have to watch me do that. Sometimes I cry. And then I've got about six pieces of celery. I like them a little small. Uh, usually, my little my little son, he doesn't have a little anymore. He's 21 now, but still picks the celery out. And it just it deserves me because I go, he's not going to pick every piece of celery out of it. He does. So if you have picky eaters and you want to grind these into a blender, best way to, to get them to ingest the celery without them even knowing it's there. So easy. You can also use celery powder, celery salt. I would not suggest because it's too salty. Um, and then last but not least, you guys, is this liquid smoke. Now I don't get the hickory version. It's get the regular liquid smoke. Um, this is like one Mississippi. Uh, I use that for measuring. Uh, it's about a tablespoon. Uh, the only other thing that I'm going to add is arrowroot powder. Now if you don't have that, you can use uh, tapioca flour. Half a cup here, guys. And half a cup is going to bind this together. It's a nice thickener and it just makes it stick together really good. Oh my gosh, I can tell by the consistency it already feels great. So it should be a little bit thick. Um, not, not pasty, but like just thick enough that it's not, you know, runny. So as you're stirring, it should look like that, right? And you can see all of those nice ingredients. Now, if you wanted to eat it just like this and put it on a big hoagie roll, it's really good that way too. But for this purpose, we're gonna finish the chicken casserole that I started. So there we go. Now, depends on if you're cooking for a whole fam. If you got five people, big meat eaters in your house, um, and you wanna impress them, this is gonna do it. It's rich, it's thick, it's amazing, it's filling, it's warm, it's vegan, it's so amazing, you're gonna love it. Right now, I kinda do like the little onesie dishes, and that keeps me from overindulging. Because Lord knows, <laughs> we don't wanna go on a diet after this thing. Finally let us out. God. Kidding me? I've done enough workout tapes at home. I think I have like five new yoga apps. So check it out. There you go. I build it. And the good thing about this is, you know, you can buy these in multiple units here. And you can actually build like a whole bunch of these if you want. Portion control yourself like crazy. And then just lock your fridge at night. That way you can't get a second one in case you get hungry. So Last but not least, this is this is the funnest part, you guys. This, oh my lord, I gotta tell you how much fun I have doing this. This is like, to me, like you know those little squeezy balls that you get all your frustration out on? And you know when you were little and your mom's like, don't crush the chip. You get to crush the chip. And it's so fun. That's what you do. You just crush them all like that. And then, you know, get out all your aggression, like this Corona stuff, bringing out the best in everybody, like, I have to tell you, you know, for every time that somebody didn't fill up the ice cube tray, I get a little extra squeeze. Here I am again, my favorite company, follow your heart. No, they're not paying me, <laughs> but I'm telling you, I like them. So, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I would say about a quarter cup of vegan dairy-free cheese. Load it up, folks. This is vegan comfort food at its finest. Take these little crushed potato chips, go on top with it like that. Who doesn't want a manja on that during Ozark 3? This, 350 in the oven. This is my Barbie oven, by the way. 30 minutes and it's done. Delicioso. And you can order these in bulk or you can order them individual in your freezer, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, in this cute little package, blue. And jackfruit, you guys, has amazing qualities. The one thing that I just love about it, because it's my birthday next week, is it helps in wrinkles, and it helps you not get them. Believe it or not, it should be skin care. Wow. That was a quick 30 minutes. <laughs> TV magic. So, check it out. 
It's a little warm. You might want to have a hot pad with you. I have thick hands, so we're good. This is the finished nugget. Oh my God. Hands down, the best potato chip casserole you have ever had. And you can bring this to a party when we get back to going to those, or you can pretend you're having a party yourself. <laughs> you could just be creative on Zoom and say, make everyone jealous of what you're eating for appetizer. I don't know, there's all kinds of things you can do with this, you guys. But here they are. I try not to put foil on them at all uh, because it makes the potato chips soggy. Uh, my dad likes his burnt, so you can leave it in for like 45 minutes and you can get these really toasty or you can do it halfway for 30 minutes. They're just a little bit brown, uh, but they're amazing, you guys. We'll not be able to put this down. This will be gone. You'll be licking the dish, and then hopefully you can restrain yourself and not go to the fridge and get your second version. But you can actually make, for the whole family, you can make this in a big lasagna dish, kind of like this size, and uh, it's, it's really good too, and it's great heated up the next day. You can just throw it in the oven, you know, on warm 150, and it's ready to go. And like I said, you can use this again for, you know, sandwiches, like chicken salad sandwiches. It, it doubles just like that, but it's just jackfruit. So enjoy. Yeah.